That story, Ken. <laughs> Are you coming, John? You are the youngest and the oldest. Now Theo's the youngest, that's right. It's so good to have you back. It's been a long time since you were poking your head in my story box. <laughs> and I have a book to share with you this morning, and I just love this story. And um, this story is about um, a little girl and her mom that live way up in the Arctic, in the north part of Canada. And so let's see what this story has to say. Mama, do you love me? Yes, I do, dear one. How much? I love you more than the raven loves his treasure, more than the dog loves his tail, more than the whale loves his spout. How long? I'll love you until the Yumia flies. That's a boat. See, it's flying. Until the Yumiak flies into the darkness, till the stars turn to fish in the sky. See the stars turning to fish. And the puffin howls at the moon. Mama, what if I carried our ptarmigan eggs? And I tried to be careful and I tried to walk slowly, but I fell and the eggs broke. Then I would be sorry, but still. I would love you. What if I put salmon in your parka, ermine in your mittens, and lemmings in your mucklets? Then I would be angry. What if I threw water at our land? Then, dear one, I would be very angry, but still, I would love you. What if I ran away? Then I would be worried. What if I stayed away and sang with the wolves and slept in a cave? Then, dear one, I would be very sad, but still, I would love you. What if I turned into a musk ox? Then I would be surprised. What if I turned into a walrus? Then I would be surprised and a little scared. Look at the tusks on that walrus. Well, hi, Sierra. Good to see you. What if I turned into a polar bear and I was the meanest bear you ever saw? And I had sharp, shiny teeth and I chased you into your tent and you cried. Then I would be very surprised and very scared. But still, inside the bear, you would be you. And I would love you. I will love you forever and for always, because you are my dear one. That's our story. I wonder how it would feel to turn into a polar bear. You don't know? Did you ever want to try? I think I'd like to turn into a polar bear just for a day so I could swim really well. Yeah. Oh, you have a book for just one day I want to be, and then you make, and then you get something to choose. So what would you be? A cat for one day. <laughs> oh, but you wouldn't want to have kittens. Well, we do, but we have to give them away in a week, in four weeks, right, Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so what would, if you could be something for a day, what would you want to be? Um, a kitten, anyway. 
Yes. I'm kidding anyway. And guess what? It won't count that day. Really? Wow, that's really nice. What about you, Theo? What would you want to be? You don't know? Maybe a rabbit. <laughs> anyway, that's the story. And uh, we're going to sing uh, a song now because um, something special is going to happen in a few minutes. Your little sister is going to get baptized. Do you remember when you were baptized? Not so much. You got water on your head. Yeah. But do you, so do you remember that happening? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to, uh, to do that in a minute. We're going to sing a song about uh, 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 children and, and water and being baptized. And then we will uh, see that happen. It's child of blessing, child of promise. <laughs> 